The Star of Sylaveth. It is said to be the seal stone containing Sylaveth, goddess of destruction. This magical star of destruction was shattered into pieces all across the world, and those who were born with this fragment were called the Starborn. In 1192, during an age of conflict, the Archean commander Khazar sought to use the power of the star fragments as a tool of war. The wizard Jan Junith sent Calanthea, a witch, to the remote island where Starborn were hiding.
awaken the wild power and the star fragment. The memory of that day returned like a nightmare. Who goes there? That nightmare again? Please don't feel guilty. The Elder wouldn't want you to feel this way forever. Come on, why don't you go out and get some fresh air? Oh, right. Lottie just left to go to Moonshade Town. You should follow her. I'd love to come with, but running makes my arm hurt. I'll bet Lottie morphed. If you want to catch up to her, you'll have to morph too. Ah, oh, that Lottie. She didn't take the map again. Can you take it to her? I drew up the map because she asked for it. All right, let's get going. Go to those stairs over there, quickly. If you want to catch up to Lotta, you'd better hurry.
forgot the map. Adventurer, why are you here? Ah, oh, I was just about to go back and get it. Thanks. Oh, I need to repair something in Crescent Town. Since you're here already, do you want to go to the training grounds with me? It's been a while since you've seen some action. I'm sure it's nothing too serious or urgent. Besides, today is the day when Gigantrite passes by Wisperian. Wisperian will be full of energy today, so let's take it easy. Why don't you take this chance to try out a different weapon? You can't keep using that broken sword forever. Then we can go to Moonshade Town. What do you say? Now, let's go. Stairs are broken. Be careful, my friend. Seems like Clay is here too, given a special occasion. Today's the day where the massive divine beast called Gigantrite comes by. Gigantrite is really, really big! Oh, I'm surprised to see anyone here today. Want to try out some weapons? Oh, you're new to these weapons, right? Let me teach you. Well, I'm sure you already know you can equip up to two weapons. Try out different weapons and find a weapon that you like. Like that weapon? It suits you. Not bad. Shall we go to Moonshade Town? Down. Can you open the gate? Sure, Lottie. You'll have a good view of Whisperian on the way, too. Whenever Gigantrite visits Whisperian, the town buzzes with excitement and energy. During such an event, you and Lottie left Whisperian's fortress to visit Moonshade Town. What's going on here? Let's go and check it out. I'll go over first. Follow me with your piton and grappling hook. The watchtower was destroyed by an attack. Although the path was now blocked, you and Lottie made use of the piton and your grappling hooks to continue onward. 
It looks like the cart was destroyed by artillery. Who could be attacking? <sighs> Lilith just broke. We can't get to Hesperian with this. This lift would let us cross Hesperian to get to Moonshade Town. It's the only way to get there without a boat. This is bad. Bermetz is here. Maybe he has an idea. I will try to find a way. You go ahead and take care of the injured. Oh, Can that is a naughty. Well, between the two of us, we'll have it fixed in no time. Shall we get started?
you. Whisperian was hit too. Can you check it out? You defeated the Black Mitrans that appeared on your way to Asperian. While Asperian was still intact, a broken pulley lift prevented you from reaching Moonshade Town. Suddenly, a mysterious being bathed in light appeared and led you to the top of the Great Tree. to move our troops now. Damn it! With the pulley destroyed, reinforcements can't reach us! Is there some way... Oh, someone's coming! Rescue the residents with the resistance. Please be careful. 
When this is over, let's be sure to meet again. After arriving on top of the great tree. <laughs>
power of a rampaging star fragment. Wake up! That's strange. I wasn't told about any serious injuries. <coughs> hey, are you awake? Do you recognize me? Oh, nice. You wait here. I'll call the healer now. The child who lost everything here ten years ago now challenges the might of the Archean Legion. Starborn bravery and determination, forged in celestial fire. Are you in any condition to move? Hey. I'm on my way with the healer. What happened? Do you have any idea how worried I was? I thought something happened to you. Clay is waiting inside, so hurry up and go see him. If the pulley wasn't broken, I would have kicked way more ass. I said someone took down that giant orc alone. You did good. Ah, oh, you're finally awake. Come this way. Thanks to your defeat of King Vert, we were able to fight off the Archeum. The portal in the sky has closed as well. We were about to be killed by King Vert when your Star Fragment went into a frenzy and overwhelmed the enemy. If you hadn't been able to defeat him, none of us would have survived. I'm thankful the Elder protected you ten years ago, so that today we could stand together to defend Wisp Island. Speaking of which, I'm sure you feel guilty over what happened to the Elder. You didn't cause his death. You should know that. Please, don't blame yourself. That said, are you all right? Your power, it's clearly too dangerous to leave as is. When a Star Fragment's power overloads like that, it takes a heavy toll on the bearer's body. It could even kill you. Carrying such a powerful Star Fragment makes you a target for the Archeum too. A decade ago, Kazar and Kalanthia invaded this island precisely to steal that power for themselves. That power is unpredictable when it's in a frenzy. It will hurt innocent bystanders who get too close. I have a friend named Martine in Castleton, a town in Lasslin. 
She's researching the effects of star fragments. I believe she can help you. Here, take my token. Show this to the storage manager named Melky, and he will help you. When you are ready to leave, touch Luna Zero's head to temporarily enhance your glide ability. That should get you all the way to Castleton. Hmm. I wish you all the best. Thanks to the Star Fragment's power, the island is...
brother. Why's welcome, brother? First time in. something? Do you need anything? Yes. Welcome. Ah, good. I see you have cli- mm, I don't know what those Archeum bastards want with her. But under these circumstances- Oh, sorry for stalling. You need the rest of the passphrase to find Martinet. The first part- Close. I can't believe the ghastly tales were true. Do you want to make? Do you want to learn a new skill? So Clay sent you. The second half of the password is whispers. You want to meet with Martinet? Head to the Castleton Infirmary on the north side of town. Say the. By the way, many of the townsfolk, including myself, have been brought to health by Martinet's healing skills. Please take care not to let anything happen to her. At first, Murphy pretended not to know anything about Martinet. It turns out, she had gone into hiding, fearing the Archean Legion. When you showed Clay's token to the villagers, told you where to go, and gave you the full password, the Light Fragment Whispers. I can make all sorts of things. Why not have a look? Visitors. I haven't seen you around before, so what brings you here? I see. Clay sent you to me because of my research. The truth is, my sister, Adriana, also suffers from bouts of mana frenzy. I've been searching for a cure. If you're suffering from the effects of mana frenzy as well, a mana calming potion can alleviate your symptoms. I'd brew one for you, but I just used my last batch of ingredients. And unfortunately, I must stay here for the time being. Then I'll tell you where to go and what I need. Head to the Golden Apothecary in the Golden Rye Pastures. You'll be able to find some rancid powder. Bring me some rancid powder, and I'll make you an improved mana calming potion. You know how to use waypoints, right? If you aren't sure, go ask Priestess Grace. Using them makes it a breeze to return after procuring materials. Oh dear! You look... Your symptoms are clearly getting worse. Hurry, bring me some rancid powder.
Castleton Infirmary has been closed for some time due to rumors that the Archeum Legion was hunting Martinet. It was to trick them into thinking that Martinet, who had worked as a healer there, had left. While in hiding, she is still researching a cure for her sister's star fragment side effects. Implementations of Benelux magic, they allow you to instantly traverse from one location. It was the wizard Clay who completed the schema to make Try placing your hand on the waypoints in the plaza and at the Golden Rye pastures. Afterwards, talk to the resistance officer Ashton. He'll explain the rest. Hobbs of Laslin resisted Revolupius, who had usurped the throne, but his dominion was taken by the Archeum Legion. However, Laslin was freed again by the Founder's Order, led by Captain Da Vinci, and the Laslin Allied Resistance Forces were founded here. This was once the most prosperous granary in Laslin, but after the cursed rain came, it became infested with strangely enlarged pests. People tried to solve the problem by employing the power of free wizards, but the free wizards' clumsy magic only made things worse. The Einar Priestess Grace introduced waypoints as a great integration of Venelux magic. Teleportation was a rare skill that was only used by a few wizards. When the wizard Clay completed the schema for waypoints, it enabled anyone to teleport freely.
resistance needs more people. Can I help you? Um, do you need something from the master? Rancid powder? Well, I know how to make it, but... Uh, no, no, uh, please forget what I just said. I can't. I haven't received the Master's approval yet. What if I just tell you the ingredients you need, and you can gather them and find them yourself? Collect decomposed hearts from violent harvesters, poison stingers from wasps, and contaminated horns from scarabs. Come back here with all of those, and I'll give you the last ingredient. Then, if you take all the ingredients to Windhill Shores and find my master... In the apothecary at the Golden Rye Pastures works the always gloomy Oliver, the herbalist's apprentice. Oliver has been an apprentice there for some time, though he has yet to gain the approval of his master. You've heard that the locals pitied the outstanding apprentice, a gifted student who suffered under his eccentric master. from harvesters and insects in the golden rye pastures. They are the decomposed heart of a harvester, which controls magical power, a wasp stinger, which controls magical toxicity, and a contaminated scarab horn, which has a tonic effect. These ingredients are highly toxic on their own, but highly effective together.
to Mandrake Farmstead, where we grow them with love from seed to harvest. <laughs> if it's... Ah. Oh, my. Uh, I've just run out of roots. Mm. How about collecting as many as you need yourself? And, in exchange, you can have everything for free. Then, try harvesting the roots from the mandrakes planted out in the field. Oh, by the way, mandrakes will turn violent when you try to harvest their roots, so be extra careful. While you search for treasures hidden in ships wrecked by storms and chests that have been drifting, you will encounter the masters of the coastline. From a distance, they look like normal crustaceans, but when you get up close, you'll find they pose a greater threat than you anticipated. you here. Huh? These are the ingredients needed to make rancid powder. Martinet must have sent you. But how did you know about these ingredients? Oliver, that clever boy. How did he figure this out already? He's quite bright. Herbalists have to go to perilous places to acquire ingredients, but Oliver can't even stand the sight of a mere ant. I'm waiting for him to overcome his fears. Well, I'll make the rent and powder for you right away. It must be urgent for you to come all the way out here. But look at me, rambling on. Here's your rent and powder. Planning to go straight back to Martinet? In that case, why don't you try opening your map and teleporting- After acquiring the last ingredient from the Mandrake Farmstead, you were able to meet the herbalist, Wilson. He always entrusted the apothecary to his apprentice and collected herbs alone. He had to venture to all sorts of dangerous areas to get medicinal herbs, but his pupil was a coward who would flee at the sight of an ant.
did you bring the ingredient? You're back so soon. Did you find rancid powder? How are you feeling? Have you gotten any worse? I'm glad you're all right. The rancid powder you brought is high quality. I'll make the mono calming potion for you right away. All right, here you are. Why don't you try it and see how it works? Here you are. Why don't you try it and see how it works? Just as I thought, it's much more effective. I tried to improve the efficacy, but I didn't expect the results to be this good. The calming potion's effect is very effective this time. I need to bring this to my sister right away. But as you know, 
I'm in no position to be wandering around outside. Thank you. This is the same calming potion that I made you. Please, bring this to Mina at Windhill Shores. Only Mina knows where my sister is, you see. Zeroth's men might follow me and find my sister if I go see her myself. Yes, Zareth, the leader of Laslin's Archeum unit. He's one of the Khazar's top commanders. He wants the power of my sister's star fragment and will stop at nothing to get it. You see, if the power is strong enough, the mana will go into a frenzy. The calming potion is controlling your power for now, but you can't hide from Zareth forever. Please be careful. The effect of the mana calming potion that Martine made was incredible. Soon after you drank the potion, you could feel your magic begin to settle down. Martine, who had been researching a way to relieve her older sister Adriana's pain for so long, finally succeeded in creating a potion more effective than her other potion. you. Seeing that you brought the calming potion, I'm pretty sure that Martinet must have sent you. If she sent this out of the blue in such a hurry, then things probably worked out well for her. Sorry, but Adriana isn't exactly here right now. The news from Mina was unexpected. Zeroth's spies were closing in on Adriana's hideout, forcing her to flee. Martinet's potion was still not effective enough to control her mana completely, so she set out to find a way to quell her frenzied mana on her own. Unfortunately, we're a bit late. <laughs> that one must have taken Adriana away! You have a star fragment just like that girl. I won't be going home empty-handed after all. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 
you dare interfere with our plans? I'll kill you! Forget that horrible nightmare I had. With time, my memories became clearer. It's agonizing, but I just can't give up. At the very least, for Martinet's sake. hid myself and watched the intruder pass by. The pattern engraved on their sword meant that they were part of the Archeum Legion. Just why are the Archeum looking for me again? The Archeum Legion attacked the lighthouse where Adriana had been hiding, seeking the power of a star fragment. Only after defeating them did you discover her research papers and a diary she had left behind. There, she had clearly recorded the difficult times she had been through. Just who was Janice Carter anyway? She recognized my path. She ended up telling me that the only way to treat You found a document which contained details about Janice Carter, someone Adriana had met. Janice, recognizing the strength of the star fragment that Adriana had, advised her that the only way to be free from the Archeum was to leave as soon as possible and find a way to control her power. forces captured Martinet, the younger of two twin sisters. By keeping her hostage, 
they forced the shaman Adriana, who wielded the power of a star fragment, to call forth the rains. As the ritual began, rain cascaded from the sky, accompanied by crashes of thunder. But the Archean forces had altered the ritual. Their tampering caused a cursed rain to fall on Maslin. Wherever the rain fell, creatures transformed into violent monsters that attacked people and devastated the farmland. Adriana was shocked to witness what she had done. When the Archean forces turned on the sisters, meaning to kill them now that they had served their purpose. The awe-inspiring power of the star fragment that lay dormant within Adriana flooded out and their enemies were annihilated in an instant. In the aftermath, Adriana was beset by unspeakable disfigurations, swallowed by guilt over her role in causing the cursed rain. The gods cherish us all. Adventurer, because of you, I was able to hear about my sister before it was too late. Thank you. Now that her hiding place has been exposed, Zeroth's men will find this clinic sooner or later. What so I also decided to leave before it's too late. I wish I could have created a true cure for you. I'm sorry. My calming potion won't be enough to fully control your mana. It's too powerful. But when we meet again, I'll be able... In the past, when Archeum had taken Martine hostage, Ad Is there someone out there? Can anyone help me?
desperately need, but no one will even listen to me. Couldn't you find it in your heart to help me out, adventurer? Have you ever heard of this monster known as Iskale the Greyfanged? He was this dreadful wolf that possessed terrible malvescence. Back in my younger days, I almost ended up getting killed by Iskale. The only reason I'm alive to speak to you about this today is that Henry, the Lord's son, came to rescue me and the other children. He heroically sacrificed his own life to defeat Iskale. Whenever I get the chance, I try to visit Henry's grave in Castleton Abbey to leave some offerings. Last time, I made some gloves for him using the hide of a rabbit that I caught. The anniversary of Henry's death is coming soon. I saw a beautifully crafted keepsake at an old hunter's house once. He said he got it from participating in the wolf hunting contest that is held in Henry's memory. I wish I could get one of those keepsakes and bring it to Henry's grave, but I'm still too young to participate in the contest. You don't mind? You'll really get one of those keepsakes for me? If that's the case, then I... No, never mind. Actually, it would be nice if I could have two of these keepsakes. Do you think it'd be possible to get two? Thank you so much, adventurer! The contest is hosted at the Lord's Residence in Castleton. Go there and ask how you can participate. Ah, this way. Come over here for a second. Things to d I know that you've come a long way, but our situation is pretty bad. We must lure the wolves to proceed with the contest. But the bait we've been you, Lord Hobbs, cherishes this contest. He hasn't missed a single one. You have no idea. Oh, um, wait. If you're here for the contest, can you please help me? I need some ingredients to a wolf hunter keepsake, but that's. Uh, no, never mind. But first, you need to help me procure the ingredients needed for the bait, okay? Please defeat the crackle in the wrecks on Wind Hill Shores. They're tricky to find, but the wolves love eating them. The stench of crackle meat is irresistible bait for beasts like them. Also, investigate any chests that are left in the wreck. Please remember, crackle are difficult prey to hunt, so you should equip at least uncommon level armor. But why don't you pay a visit to Armor Crafter Rachel? I've already dropped a word with her. Dave, the Lord's aide, was concerned that the bait he was using for the wolf hunting contest wasn't effective enough. He decided to solve this problem by developing a new kind. To get a keepsake for Soiri, you must first gather the ingredients for this new bait from Windhill Shores.
Unfortunate accidents often happen off the coast of Castleton, when fishing boats are sunk by the perilous reefs. Chunks of the bait that anglers use are sometimes found in the chests that wash ashore from the wreckage. Their pungent smell is highly effective at luring in wolves. Crustaceans, called crackles, are often found in the wrecks near Windhill Shores. Crackles are as ferocious as they look and have a pungent smell. It's said that a hunter once won the wolf hunting contest by secretly using crackle meat as bait.
This vast plain was once a cherished village landmark before the packs of giant wolves appeared. Now, even seasoned hunters avoid it. Those who trespass into the realm of savage beasts must prepare to face death. Where is the person the Lord's aid was supposed to send? Oh, maybe we should postpone the contact. Ah, oh, you're the adventurer my aid told me about. Wait, is that new wolf bait? Good. The uh, old bait didn't work very well. I'm grateful for your help. The hunting contest is the pride of Castleton. Are you here to make a name for yourself? What? Wolf hunting keepsakes? They were only given out in the early days of the contest. Our aides must have been mistaken. But I am really touched by your story. I can't believe the children my nephew saved still remember him. It's something to be thankful for. I have an idea. You should speak with the artisan who made the keepsakes in the past. Find him and tell him I sent you. Be warned, though. Materials are hard to come by. Are you willing to get them yourself? If so, you're going to need to collect broken wolf fangs and radiant antler fragments. Wolf fangs can be acquired by hunting wolves on the plains. Deer antlers can be found near Hamel's tomb. That's where the deer of the plains go to end their lives. You don't know about Hamel? Hamel was a mysterious deer that protected the Black Owl Plague. Hamel drove his scale out once. Lately, I've been seeing more Starborn in the village. I have to admit, they make me a bit uneasy. With such strange powers, any one of them has the potential to turn out just like Iskale. I don't like to think about it. Once you collect the materials, you'll need to visit the artisan named Thomas in Castleton. Tell him it's a favor for me, and he'll happily oblige. Do me a favor. On your way to Hamel's tomb, Stop by the watchtower and light a beacon fire. It's a signal that the wolf hunting contest will resume soon. One of the materials for the wolf hunting keepsake is a broken fang from one of the ferocious wolves that inhabit the Black Owl Plains. 
Only intrepid hunters can acquire this material, symbolizing the death of Iskael the Great Lane. These wolves are fiercer than I thought.
Korak. I don't even have money for another drink. Uh, who are you? Keep thanks. Yeah, I made him. Uh, uh, but I made my last one a long, long time ago. It's been so long, I can't even remember how to use my tools. May not look it, but I'm very anxious. Whenever I begin a new project, I become so weary. Uh, you be that girl. All right, fine, I'll try. But I, I need total silence to work. So please, don't make a sound. Anyway, I hope so. Where he likes him. It feels great to pick up my tools again and get a bit of my own. <laughs> Actually, uh, you should visit Marianne, the accessory crafter. A well-crafted accessory can make you more powerful. Tell her I sent you, and she'll be good to you. Thomas, a Castleton craftsman, reminisced about the past and recreated the same kind of wolf hunting keepsake he made in times long gone. He vividly remembered the days when Iscale raided his town, recalling that alongside young Henry, who bravely set out to rescue the children, was an unknown hero. to let him know the hunting contest is still being held in his name. Actually, we weren't just saved by Henry. There happens to be another hero who came to save us that day. However, that person vanished without even saying a word. Do you think I'll meet that other hero someday? If I ever do, I'll hold on to this other keepsake so I can give it to them. Oh, if you have the time, you should go and visit Henry's grave. where Henry fought Iskale. Oh, really? That'd be real nice. Castleton Abbey is located on a hill that's somewhere between the town and the plains.
star, child. Are you seeking a path? After all the twists and turns, you finally gave Soiri the wolf hunting keepsakes you'd gathered. She was overjoyed, expressing her gratitude over and over again. So Eerie hoped that people would continue to remember Henry for years to come, and told you the location of the abbey where he's buried. The howl of the Alpha Wolf resurrects the dead wolves! It must be one of the three leaders of Iskale's pack! I couldn't have fought them off without you. Thank you. I couldn't have fought them off without you. East Kale is leading wolves to attack the village. What happened to the others in the Abbey? What about the kids? Ah, come to think of it, you're not from our village, are you? How did you end up in a dangerous place like this? You must leave. The wolves will be here soon. If you head downhill, you'll find the village. You'll be safe there. I have to look after the others here. The wolves attacked, and the people in the abbey weren't able to flee the village. There are young children among them. We must rescue them quickly, if they're still alive. Really? It will be dangerous, but thank you. There was no one inside or behind the abbey. Let's look below. Happy! Hey! I hear children! Oh no! There are wolves here too! I was so scared! Did you come here to save us? I want to go home. <laughs> really? Thank you so much. Because of Iskale, so many people. I couldn't save everyone, but thanks to you, the children are safe. The wolves could be back any minute. I must get them to the village. It won't be easy to protect the children while we make our way down in the dark. Can you help me once more? Thank you. I don't know where you came from, but I'll never forget your kindness. Oh, I haven't properly introduced myself yet. My name is Henry Kassler. Would you mind telling me your name? I won't forget. I'll lead the way. Please check on the children to make sure they're keeping up. Someone in the house. This way. Uh, the door is locked. It's okay. The wolves are gone. Please open the door. I think it's broken. What do we do now?
adventurer? Wolves are gathering. Huh. The more lessons. It's another alpha wolf. Take a break. Are you hurt? Oh, the children must be startled. Could we catch our breath for a moment? Let's hit the road again. No more breaks until we get to the village. You can do it, right? Um, uh, right. We should go slowly so the children can keep up. Um, I must speak with you. The village is straight ahead. Can you bring them to the village for me? I have to go back to the abbey. Iskail will be there soon. Lately, I've been having the same mysterious dream. In that dream, I'm attacked, just like today. And in the end, I face Iskail alone at the Abbey. In my dream, only I know how to defeat Iskail. And after that battle, an age of peace returns to Castleton. Now I understand the meaning of the dream Hamill sent me. I know what I have to do. I'm not sure why Hamill chose me. I just know that it is my duty. Uh, I think it's already begun. The wolves are coming. We must protect the children. I'll take this side. <laughs> of time I ask you once more please make sure that the children make it to the village safely and uh, that howl it's just Kale the wolves have been resurrected Please protect the children until the end! You beasts! Over here!
I see the village. <laughs> oh, you're all safe. Safe, my daughter. I thought I'd never see my daughter again. I don't know how to thank you. Uh, are you Henry's friend? I heard that Henry went up to the Abbey alone. No, that can't. Iscale is up and Henry's weak. If he went to fight Iscale, he'd be killed in a heartbeat. I hope we can find someone. a sword, and it will obey the will of the one who needs it. Wake up from the nightmare, and choose your own. This little one is ready too. May you have a glorious journey. While you were standing over Henry's grave, the spirit of the divine beast Hamel appeared. As he used his mysterious power, a vision of the abbey where Henry and Iskel fought unfolded before your eyes. What was Hamel trying to tell you? If you are able to control the dangerous astral force, where will your path lead? Hamel, the sacred deer of the Blackhow Plains, met his demise, and his death heralded Iskale's return. Those who fled from the wolves found themselves isolated in the abbey. Iskale, with the power of the star fragment and backed by a pack of ravenous wolves set upon them. While the people cowered in terror, Henry rose to the occasion. He had always admired Hamel's courage, and he took heart from it now, urging the others to escape. As Henry desperately battled against the wolves, Iskale rushed towards him. 
Henry knew of Iskale's weak point. Hamill had come to him in a dream, showing him what he needed to know. And so Henry hurled his torch at the bottles of lamp oil in the storeroom. The oil ignited instantly, and with each fiery explosion, the very ground beneath their feet trembled. Henry was caught in the flames, along with Iskale. All that remained when the others returned to the abbey were the bones and ashes of Henry and the wolves. Now the people of Castleton hold a wolf hunting contest every year to honor the courage and sacrifice of the young hero. Standing atop the coastal cliffs of Castleton, Helpy spent a long while gazing silently toward Wisp Island. Finally it spoke. It said farewell until the day we meet again, and wished you well on the path ahead. You ruefully parted from the little friend who had been by your side from the beginning.